This week's top trending skincare poll results is on milky toners and essences. This has become a favorite category of mine and I think it's just increasingly become popular over the last couple of years. As always, the results of the poll come from a public vote on my Instagram page at Sam by the Counter. As I go through the list, I'd usually throw in my own kind of thoughts if I've tried the product that has made the top 10. But I just want to mention that I have fairly oily congestion prone skin. So some of the products that I don't like might still work for you if you have a drier skin, especially. Skincare is so personally, so take what I say with a very much a grain of salt. Let's get straight into the list. Number 10 is the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Toner. And number nine on the list is the Thayer's Milk Hydrating Toner. Who even knew they sell anything outside of Witch Hazel? I didn't. Number eight on the list is the Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. These three that I just mentioned I haven't personally used, so I have no thoughts to add, but let me know in the comments why you love them if you've tried them. Number seven on the list is the Equal Reaction Cactus Ceremony fortifying milk. This is a pretty new release but as soon as I heard about it I ran out to order it. It has a bunch of like skin loving ingredients but I'm obsessed with Ecto-1 lately and it has a little bit of Ecto-1 in there so that was the reason I needed it. The texture is a little bit more gel fluid but still quite like runny but worked really well for layering. Number six on the list is the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk. This is a huge favorite of mine, huge, huge favorite. It has a little bit of an oil component, so it feels quite nourishing without being suffocating or too heavy and definitely light enough to layer, but I think predominantly actually feels like it properly soothes my skin and has a little bit of an anti-redness effect that I appreciate. Number five on the list is the Dr. Curacool or Suricool Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. This has become a cult favorite, especially on social media. For me personally, the balance here is a little bit off where I think the oily component overpowers, but I definitely understand why people would love it because it's very intensely nourishing. Number four on the list is the I'm From Rice Toner. Oh, this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm not a fan of this one at all. To me, it feels like it leaves a very obvious surface residue and I just, I don't like it. Number three on the list is a fairly new one, Turter or Tear Tear here milk skin toner. This one I've definitely seen all over Instagram, but I haven't personally tried it. I did recently order just a small like deluxe travel size to try it, so I'll have to update later. Number two on the list is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, another very popular cult favorite product. And I think one of the milky toners that really popularized this category it became beloved very quickly. This one is kind of interesting because the texture initially feels quite light, but on my skin, it kind of develops into a skin feel that is very rich and oily. So it makes my skin super shiny very quickly. I wanted to love this one, but it ultimately just didn't work out in my routine. It gets to the point where it just makes me feel greasy and that I just don't like that sensation. And number one on the list is the Road Glazing Milk. This is another one that has taken over social media Media, but sadly I haven't tried it. Road doesn't ship to Australia. I don't know why. We're such like an easy place to like ship to. The regulations are way less intense than the UK, but I'm not salty at all. <laughs> I kind of suspect this one would probably feel too heavy on my skin anyway, so I'm probably not missing out on anything, but the hype has gotten to me, so I definitely want to try it eventually. That's the end of these voting results. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.